welcome back to techno sage youtube channel so nvidia reveals some rts uh, ray tracing and dlss statistic and it is a small number of people who had taken it but yeah it's interesting to see where ray tracing was and how it how long it had came along the way so yeah and yeah it is what it is right now but yeah so first of all there were 37 percent who turned on ray tracing on 50 series and 26 percent on 26 gamers who turned dlss on which has been increased substantially like exponentially increased by so, uh, almost 50 percent or so on 40 series at 83 percent who turns on ray tracing and 79 percent who turns on dlss on 40 series but it is to be expected because this graphics card are powerful enough to run ray tracing so yeah along with it if you are having a gpu sag it can break your vram on 20 and 30 series i am worried about 40 series what it, it will happen because 40 series is 1.5 kgs almost but your yeah, german computer repair technician christy on youtube report that some of the that one of the rtx 2080 ti uh, is having an issue because due to heavy stress from gpu sagging the technician demonstrated with the damage 2080 ti like some of the pins of the vram which is the memory module it comes loose and on the sol sol solder points so basically burning up your gpu and you can't use it anymore but yeah and it is due to af after several years of heavy usage under gpu sag so it will happen maybe you can just use a sag bracket so it's not destroyed and stuff but yeah you should keep it mind if you have 40 series just use a sag bracket so that it doesn't happens with you next up we have some news regarding the 4070 no 4070 but flagship rdn2 gpu is now available for 609.99 so after the launch of 4070 which is a mid-range which is launched for 600 bucks 69 rx 650 xt which is last generation is just 10 dollars more so basically amd has gone all in against rtx 4070 and given the fact like rtx 4070 comes with 12 gp of vram 1650 xt though it's not that powerful it was a large inflection and it comes with 16 gp of vram at 629.99 it's also a nice price point but after promo you get it for 610 which is truly awesome so yeah given the fact like in pure rasterization it's purely powerful compared to 4070 but in terms of ray tracing it not be but it's awesome and gigabyte also dropped rx 6800 pricing to just 470 bucks so yeah and 6800 also comes with 16 gp of vram so yeah rtx 4070 amd has done strategy moves where it will have a hard time for nvidia to catch up along with the launch of 4070 so yeah also amd has launched two new gpus and it's like pro series w7900 which comes with 48 gp of ram at 384 bit per jddr6 with ecc 2.1 96 cu rdna3 and av1 encoding so yeah it's brief as hell but it comes with 48 double the ram but less speed compared to 7900 xtx and another is 7800 which also comes with double the ram so yeah w7800 comes with 32 gb of vram so yeah and these are workstation gpus it's not for gaming and stuff but yeah and it comes with 70 cus 45 teraflops of fp32 compute and stuff so yeah and according to M amd it's like it has 1.5 times the memory and stuff and it comes with true displayport 2.1 which is uhpr20 which gives 77.4 though 1700 xtx comes with displayport 2 but it is 13.2 something like 13.5 which gives a full speed of 55 gbps but this is full 3 displayport 3.1 which comes with 77.4 gigabits per second transfer speed so yeah if you want it you just go with it but yeah if, but this is a workstation and here they blew it out of the park because they launched 7900 at just 4000 bucks whereas nvidia's rtx a6000 6, is for 4860 dollars and rtx ada is 8615 and w7800 is 2500 while a55 is 3000 plus so yeah here they just blew it out of the park
and if we compare price to performance given the fact like w7900 will be less powerful and less efficient but price to performance will be awesome as you can see on the graph here though the performance is less the price to performance is good and someone just leaked what 79 gen 6 will be based on as it comes from amd silicon design engineer at amd amd is here he says like gen 6 which is Morpheus will be based on 2 nanometer process for Gen 6 will be based on 2 for servers Nirvana is Gen 5 which is based on 3 nanometer and Best for us will be Gen 4 which is based on 5 nanometer process So yeah, we just they just accidentally launch what Gen 5 and Gen 6 will be based on but yeah, that's it regarding that and it's based on server But it just gives us a general idea what it will be based on in other jeep in Ryzen so yeah, that's it for me today. What do you think about the news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next one.